As we prepare to say farewell to Frankel on the track, how ironic that the world's finest racehorse may face his sternest test in the Kipco Champion Stakes from a horse whose origins could hardly be more humble. And Cyril Zegle qui s'envole maintenant. Cyril Zegle qui compte une, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept longs de l'avance sur Marinus. Cyril Zegle on the near side for Christophe Spignon. Cyril Zegle, the Champion Stakes goes to France. Cyril Zegle hangs on and wins. Cyril Zegle has beaten Nicolas Abbey. Sirius Desaigle, the older he gets, the better he gets. He's race six, eight in front. He is a very, very good, outstanding racehorse. If Frankel is the prince, then Sirius Desaigle is very much the pauper. But a pauper blessed with a rare talent, honed by his charismatic trainer, Corinne Baron Barb, at her delightfully rustic stables in Chantilly. So, Kareem, 12 months on from winning the champion stakes, you're back here as the defending champion against the best racehorse in the world. How, how does that feel? I, I, it's a great experience and uh, we are very happy to be lucky enough to have a such horse able to go and uh, meet uh, Frankel with a, a chance. And last year's race was an incredibly strong race. He beat all these Group 1 winners and did, did the job extremely well. And did that surprise you at the time? Um, I think the best is the field. The best uh, Sirius is he always put the tar target uh, upper and upper. And uh, it was uh, really the first ideal race he had. So he, can, he could show how good he is. It's not pretentious. He's just very good. So you think, and Cyrus does Eagle, then Snow Fairy looking for an out underneath the pair. Will we switch to the outside? Midday and Green Destiny. Cyrus does Eagle on the outside, but so you think Snow Fairy is back in third. Cyrus does Eagle on the near side for Christophe Sumior. Cyrus does Eagle, the champion stakes goes to France. And what, what do you make of Frankel? Uh, I, see, I think Frankel is a great horse, um, extraterrestre, and uh, I think they, they have. Uh, things in common. He, uh, Frankel didn't run as many times as he did, but he doesn't have the same uh, background at all, even from the day of their, their birth. And I'm very happy that uh, uh, Frankel is running on Saturday. Cyrus de Zegler is six or seven lengths clear. There's absolutely no danger of defeat. He's drawn a wide margin ahead and won uh, without being pressed at all. You said, you said before the pre-dollar that the horse was um, not quite ready and yet he still won that race incredibly impressively, didn't he? Did that surprise you? Uh, it, it might mean that he still progress. Yeah. It might mean that the uh, uh, four months rest give him a lot of energy. Uh, I think he, after the race we saw his uh, coat shining and little details who show you that the race was something uh, giving more to him. He always uh, go a step up after a race or work, so um, you cannot say he's better than ever, but uh, it, it's possible. Yes. And the ground on Saturday makes this an intriguing match because we don't know how Franco will handle it really testing, but when it is like that, this horse is, has no, this horse has no problem with that No, he knows how to, how to swim. Yes. <laughs> He, he did the run in uh, deep going often in France and he showed he loved it in uh, last year in Grand Prix de, de Deauville. He won by 10 lengths. It was very deep. Last time it was quite heavy in uh, Longchamp and he won easily. For Frankel, I think he never really run in uh, heavy going. I don't know if it really will be heavy, but I think Frankel is a bit like him. Each time he has a new uh, challenge he, it make him better so uh, nobody can say Frankel won't, li won't like the, the going. Are you happier that they're racing against each other on testing going than say on a, on a good surface? Do you think that evens it up a little bit? Well, people they probably think I prefer deep going. It's sure deep going disturb more other horses than Cyrus but uh, in Dubai which is his big victory of the year the going was not deep at all and he did it very well. Cyrus de Zagla led with 200 metres left to go. Nicholas Abbey into the clear, comes after Cyrus de Zagla. Treasure Beach is third, Cyrus de Zagla in front. So Nicholas Abbey's going to him, the post is looming up. 
Cyrus de Zagla hangs on and wins. Cyrus de Zagla has beaten Nicholas Abbey. <laughs> is he always like this? He's mischievous, isn't yes, he? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah. We have a regular appointment to, we can call it Calin, even if it's a bit uh, violent, and I have no sugar left. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> and your horse, with a very humble pedigree, has completely outshone what he should have been. He, he's, he's almost a freak, isn't he? I think that the ma uh, magic side of uh, racing is that nobody can be sure to have the best horse, even buying the, the more, more expensive yearling and um, even cruising the be two best horses in the world, you don't know what will come. And uh, with Humble, uh, uh, as you said, you have... I had uh, other fairy tales before, never so strong and intense as this one, but um, that's racing. So let's see how between uh, the um, uh, Paisen and uh, the uh, uh, King Bread, uh, how they will run together, it will be really a, a big event. But you've described him as your best friend, this horse. Yeah, there is nobody I can trust like him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he never runs a bad race, does he? No, never. And I suppose the fact that he was gelded when he was a young horse, it, it, it's been good because he wouldn't have made it as a, to the track as a six-year-old, would he, if he'd been... I, with the record he had, probably he would have been sold as a stallion, but yeah. I'm not sure that uh, his pedigree would have been uh, enough, but uh, his performance, we, yes. But yeah. I'm not a specialist with um, market and uh, com uh, commercial uh, transaction. I'm a specialist with dreams. So I don't know. <laughs> and at this charming yard of yours, you've got, what, 25, 30 horses here? Yes, between t 25 and 30, uh, depending on period of the year. And, and this, is, this horse has become a worldwide hero. Everybody knows about him now. Has it had an effect on your business? Have you had more orders coming through or not? Not at all. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe people think I, uh, I'm only good for fairy tales, so I don't... If uh, they won't send me good pedigrees, and uh, anyway, from the beginning, most of the horse I train I, uh, are mine or are, I rent them, so I'm not able to run to run more and more. No, I don't know why. Now, Olivier Pellier has struck up a decent relationship with him, hasn't he, over yes. the last um, year or so? So three out of four, I think he is. Yes. With him. Uh, last year, Christophe Soumillon rode him. Um, presumably, you're, you're happy, equally happy to have one or the other. Yes, yes, and uh, uh, Christophe Soumillon, he did very well in uh, last year's champion stakes. He trusted the horse. Don't forget, it was his first group one and the field was great, so it's mm. uh, very... Um, it's nice to trust the horse and that's what he need. I don't have any more sugar, so stop now. <laughs> and, um, and Olivier, he took him in Dubai, he trusted him also. And uh, I think they, they are very well together. What race in the world would you most like to win? Or have you done that already with this, this fella? Saturday. Saturday. Will yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a shame that he can't run in a race like the Arc, because, of course, yes, it's a gelding. Yes, uh, in France, I think uh, a gelding mustn't run uh, in the Arc. I think I regret for, uh, for, for French racing, because finally, Frankel and Cyrus will meet in, uh, in Ascot. And uh, the sport is the sport. And as long as you allow, allow gelding to run, after the best race in the world should uh, be able to to make uh, the best horses in the world running. Don't you think so? Uh, mm. He's almost tilting his head like Sir Henry Cecil there. Sir Henry <laughs> tilts his head when he talks. <laughs> have, you, have you spoken to Sir Henry much? Uh, no, never. No, no. Maybe on Saturday. Sure, we'll, we'll meet anyway on Saturday. I know he's... Uh, Better than me, the trainer, but the horse, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a great story, Karine, and we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.